Guidelines on the Regulatory Reform for LGUs Talaga nga namang bumilis na ang mga proseso sa pagkuha ng mga serbisyo ng gobyerno. On May 28, 2018, President Rodrigo Duterte signed into law Republic Act Number no. 11032 or the Ease of Doing Business and Efficient Government Service Delivery Act or EODB EGSD. This law aims to streamline the current systems and procedures of government services. Under Section 5 of the said Act, government offices are mandated to regularly undertake cost compliance analysis and time and motion studies, undergo evaluation and improvement of their transaction systems and procedures, as well as re-engineering the same if deemed necessary to reduce bureaucratic red tape and processing time. In support to the implementation of the EODB EGSD Act of 2018 and in view of the Philippine Development Plan 2017 to 2022 that ensures people-centered, clean, and efficient governance through seamless service delivery. To assist LGUs in complying with the standards of the Act, the Department of the Interior and Local Government, in partnership with Anti-Red Tape Authority, provides the DILG ARTA JMC No. 2019-01 Guidelines on the Regulatory Reform for LGUs Pursuant to the Ease of Doing Business and Efficient Government Service Delivery EODB-EGSD Act of 2018 What are the aims of this policy? Specifically, this policy aims to enjoin LGUs to review business and non-business related ordinances, resolutions, and issuances that affect the country's global competitiveness ranking and investment climate, to enhance efficiency in issuing permits, licenses, clearances, and other similar documents by lowering the cost of compliance for business and the transacting public, to institutionalize an evidence-based repeal amendment system ultimately towards a coherent and better regulations. To democratize the regulatory reform process through public consultation and participation. In order to assist LGUs in compliance with the standards of the Act, here's the regulatory reform framework provided in the policy. 1. Create Regulatory Reform Team, or RRT, shall be created and designated through an executive order by the local chief executive or ordinance through a local sangunian. RRT can also be the Committee on Anti-Red Tape, or CART, and must subsume its functions, duties, and responsibilities as provided ARTA Memorandum Circular 2020-07, titled Guidelines on the Designation of a Committee on Anti-Red Tape Creation of separate RRT and CART is also acceptable. 2. Engage Stakeholder engagement and participation is needed. The public affected by the policies should be consulted and assess whether the policy is cumbersome, unnecessary, outdated, and or redundant. 3. Stock take. An inventory of all existing issuances, resolutions, and ordinances implemented by the LGU shall be conducted. 4. Review. Regulatory map may be created to identify correlation between and among regulations. 5. Adopt. RRT shall recommend the proper policy option, repeal, amend, consolidate, or retain. Repeal to revoke laws, ordinances, or issuances. Amend to modify or alter an enacted law, ordinance of issuance. Consolidate to integrate multiple similar laws or issuances into one legal document. Retain to keep laws, ordinances, and issuances which are still effective in its current form. 6. Monitor the RRT may use the M&E to develop recommendations for future policy improvement. 7. Digitize RR for LGU's Information System, Philippine Business Regulatory Information System or PBRIS, 
or PBRIS and LGU websites shall be used for the online repository of all LGU ordinances and issuances. 8. Capacity Enhancement Capacity building is needed to strengthen LGU skills on the issuance, review, and formulation of policies and regulations for their constituents. 9. File a copy of approved local ordinances, resolutions, and issuances should be furnished to the UP Office of the National Administrative Register or ONAR. DILG field offices shall be provided with accounts to access the RR for LGUs. Forms which are needed to the policy can be downloaded through the Regulatory Reform for LGUs Information Systems or RR for LGUs IS. Accomplished forms shall be uploaded in the system for the accessibility of DILG through BLGD and its regional offices and ARTA. LGUs shall submit hard copies of accomplished forms directly to ARTA and copy furnish respective DILG field offices. Hard copies must be duly signed by the Barangay Local Chief Executive in case of administrative issuances or Vice Governor Vice Mayor in case of ordinances resolutions. ARTA shall assess the output submitted by the LGUs and provide feedback to concerned LGUs copy furnish the DILG. The DILG regional offices shall ensure that accomplished LGU forms are uploaded in the system for easy access of various DILG operating units as basis for policy issuances and actions. Through regulatory reforms, we can improve the delivery of government services in the country. By reviewing business and non-business related local ordinances, resolutions and issuances and recommend the repeal, amendment, consolidation or retain as may be deemed necessary, we eliminate unnecessary burden to business and non-business related transactions. Through this policy, the public as the primary stakeholder affected by government policies will experience a seamless government service delivery. We still have a long way to go when it comes to regulatory reforms, but we are moving. We believe that we can achieve a better Philippines if we work hand-in-hand -in, -hand in delivering efficient government services.